Thanks to Jock Dog Food, we are going to restore the collar and the cap of Just Nuisance and we're going to take you through the process of sculpting, casting and finishing these two objects. Um, firstly, we will make a rubber mould of the collar and the, and the cap and we do this by um, painting layers of rubber onto it. Then, because the rubber is so flexible, we put a resin jacket over it. Then we will open it up, take out the original and paint wax into the mould. Um, once we have our wax original, we will make a second mould around that, which is going to receive the metal. Uh, first of all, we dip into this tank. Uh, we put the first layer. When we put it into the tank, we brush it, we brush it nicely to get rid of the bubbles because the bubbles can weaken the mold. Then we go straight into the sand. Uh, with the help of Jock Dog Food, we're going to uh, cast the, uh, the cape and the collar of a just nuisance dog that is uh, in Summerstown. Uh, today we are, we, are, we are ready. All the processes have been done. Uh, we are going to start our fantasy. Once it's perfect, uh, once it's melted at um, uh, 1,155 degrees, then we start pouring. We pour into this, uh, this mode, ceramic mode. We pour into it straight. Once, it, once that mode is, uh, is fully baked, then you will see the bubbles coming out of the mold. That's the air escaping from the, the mold. Then you can see that our, our casting is perfect. Hi, um, my name is Viani. Um, I'm a metal chaser, which is um, a fettler. Um, um, I'm a finisher. So we finish, basically we finish um, this. They come to us, then we cut off the runners, and then we, we smooth it out. And then after, after this, we wire brush it and polish it out, and then it goes to the patina. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm a patina artist here at Dual Art Foundry. And I'm going to show you what we're going to put some chemicals on to change the color of this bronze to make it match the original in Summerstown more closely. 